back to Europe. Do you know which is the continent's largest border? It's this one between Russia and Finland. This border is 1,340 kilometers long. There are multiple border crossings. But now Finland has closed all crossings except one. Why is that? Because of a migrant crisis. Helsinki thinks that Russia is trying to weaponize this border. They're accusing Moscow of sending migrants across. The issue started late September. Since then, Finland clocked over 600 migrants at their border. These migrants were undocumented. They were seeking asylum. And they were all coming from countries in West Asia and Africa, the likes of Yemen, Somalia, Syria, and Iraq. Finland says they arrived here with the help of Russia. Well, we are very concerned about the border situation where where um, Russia is effectively instrumentalizing people, um, not only letting people through to the Finnish border with invalid documents or missing documents, which has not been the case before, but also we have evidence that Russia is eff effectively um, bringing those people to the border and uh, organizing transport as well. So what is this evidence that they're talking about? Traditionally, Russia does not allow anyone to reach the Finnish border without documents, just like any border crossing in the world. But Finland says Moscow has changed its policy. It doesn't seem to care about documents anymore. Moreover, Helsinki says Russia is helping them. How? By skirting around the rules. And here's what the rules say. No one can walk on foot between the Finnish and Russian border checkpoints. But these migrants are bypassing the rules. They're arriving on cycles and scooters. Where are they getting these from? Finland says Russia is providing these two wheelers. They're giving vehicles to migrants, then leaving them at the border crossings and closing the gates on their side. And what does Russia have to say about all of this? It obviously denies the allegations. Moscow also says they regret Finland's actions, calling, them, calling it a highly anti-Russian stance. We do not accept such accusations. Border crossings are used by those who have a legal right to do so. And in this regard, our border guards fully comply with all their official instructions. And if they try to find some far-fetched reasons, then again, we do not accept such accusations against us here. Now, this could be just another border crisis, except Finland joined the NATO this year. So now their border is a NATO border, and Helsinki thinks that this is Russia's way of revenge. They're calling it hybrid warfare. It's not the first time that something like this has happened, though. In 2021, there was a similar situation at the Polish border. A sudden uptick in undocumented migrants, most of them were from West Asia, and Poland accused Belarus of manufacturing that crisis. China. On the border with Russia, Finland is experiencing a similar phenomenon to what we've been dealing with here since 2021. In other words, to sum it up, it's a hybrid attack on the Finnish border, which is carried out by bringing groups of migrants to that border. It's a very unpleasant and challenging situation. So is Russia doing the same with Finland? Well, Helsinki certainly thinks so. So they're taking steps to prevent any crossings. Finnish border guards are erecting new barriers, including concrete obstacles with barbed wire. They want to keep the migrants out. The EU too has deployed 50 guards to this border. That should certainly take care of it. 50 guards on a 1,300 kilometer long border. Also on the cards is, a, is closing the entire border. Finland has not done it yet, but they could if the situation gets worse. Russia, on the other hand, has summoned the Finnish ambassador. They lodged a complaint over the border closures. So as of now, the situation remains tense, a classic Russia versus NATO situation. And caught in the middle are hundreds of migrants stuck in sub-zero temperatures, camping in tents at the border and facing an uncertain future.